Hi, I am Dr. Knight, the very proud principal here at Dr. Phillips High School. Welcome to Dr. Phillips High School. Dr. Phillips is a campus of about 3,200 students. Um, we are home to two magnet programs, the Center of International Studies, as well as the Visual and Performing Arts Magnet. Um, we have two academies, the Medical Academy and the Business Academy. We also have a very robust JROTC program, which is affiliated with the Air Force. You name it, we've got it here at Dr. Phillips High School. We've from sports to athletics to um, clubs and organizations, we encourage all students to get involved. Um, get to know the campus, get to shrink the campus. You, what you will find here at a high school as large as we are here in Orange County, most high schools are very large, um, shrinking the campus helps students feel a part of the school. It helps them feel like the school's not so big so that they're able to navigate and make the very most of their four years here at high school and here specifically at Dr. Phillips High School. What we have for you is a very quick overview and presentation of several of the people and services and programs that we offer here at Dr. Phillips High School. In just a minute, you're gonna enter, or I'm gonna introduce, they will introduce themselves, um, what they do and how they assist here at Dr. Phillips High School. So sit back and enjoy the presentation. Hello, Panther family. Um, this is your guidance team, and we would just like to introduce ourselves. My name is Ms. Holmes. I am the guidance counselor for Alpha A through B. Next, we have our um, API, Ms. Vanessa Morrow. Then we have counselor, Ms. Mello, Alpha C through DOL. Ms. Allen, Alpha D-O-M through H-A-R-E. <laughs> Mrs. Fink, Alpha H-A-R-F through L-I-M. Mrs. Baker, Alpha L-I-N through N-O-B. Ms. Castell, Alpha N-O-B through R-O-C. Mrs. Smith, Alpha R-O-C through S-I-P and students living in Tangelo Park neighborhood. Ms. Perkins, Alpha S-I-Q through Z. And we have our wonderful uh, records clerk, Ms. Sop, who is here for your transcript needs and any other type of documents that may be sent to um, a different school or even possibly a college. So we just, again, we want to introduce ourselves, this wonderful guidance team. Um, just letting you know that we are here to meet your needs, whether it's related to um, something school related, it could be personal, social, or professional. We are here to help you through these years in high school and we are available um, to meet with you at any time. So if you would like to schedule an appointment with us, all you have to do is go to the Dr. Phillips um, website. You can find our information there. And even better, there is a class in your Canvas course called Student Body that you can go in and you can find our information and you can schedule an appointment. So we hope to see you soon and we ha hope that you have a wonderful school year. Hi everybody, my name is Ms. Loftus and I'm the College and Career Specialist here at Dr. Phillips. Uh, my job to assist all of you um, here at Dr. Phillips is to really help you in creating your plan for your post-secondary goals. So whether that's being attending a university or a college, attending military, or attending a trade school, um, I'm really here to help you assist um, with figuring out what those plans are after high school. Um, to help you in the digital resources that are available to you, you can head to your student body class, which is located on Canvas, and underneath both the guidance and college and career modules, there are several different resources that are available to help you with making that plan on your own time and then meeting with me or your guidance counselor and kind of figuring out what those goals will look like for you. I hope you all have a great rest of your year here. Go Panthers! So I am in charge of making sure this campus of 3,200 children um, runs smoothly from academics to the management of the campus to supervision to food to transportation, making sure it all runs effectively. How do I help students? So I lead a great team of the Student Service Department, a great team that our goal is first to make sure that all students meet their graduation requirements and we ensure that they walk across the stage at the end of the year Plus, we start discussing our post-secondary goals of what happens after college. And then throughout the process, just to make sure we motivate them, encourage 
encourage them, provide any resources that are needed for their success. The, a fun part about my job is really just talking to students, like you guys make me laugh, sometimes you even make me cry, um, just because you, you, you just do such amazing things and come from such amazing backgrounds and so, and you're just doing so. Have assisting them and parents with, uh, you know, anything with their day-to-day -day process here at Dr. Phillips. One fact about my job, well, it's different every day. You never know what you're going to get. Uh, you may have a plan set out for that day and it gets, uh, you know, thrown to the wind with other stuff that's going on, so you never really know what you're going to do on a day-to-day -day basis, which is good. Uh, one way that I help students is I'm there kind of as a sounding board. Um, I've always said I have an open door policy. If they need to come in and talk, um, you know, post, again, post high school opportunities out there um, are amazing. I come from the business world, so I've got a little bit of that experience plus the education field too. Um, this year I have taken on a uh, supervisor for testing, so I'm um, starting off with 11th and 12th grade. Um, we just finished ACT today. Um, we had FSA, ELA makeup, so t uh, usually what the adults say is going to happen when you get older, it happens. That's it. <laughs> My job at Dr. Phillips High School primarily is the 10th grade dean, but I also work as the level four dean, which means that I have to handle uh, most of the most serious offenses that happen on campus. Uh, in addition to that, I also work with our at-risk seniors uh, and counsel them and their parents uh, if they're in danger of not graduating. I help students primarily by telling them the truth. I think all the way up through high school, kids aren't always given the, honest, uh, the honesty and the truth about what's waiting for them when they get out of school. I am the lead dean here at Dr. Phillips and I am in charge of attendance as well as COVID. I help students by um, conducting parent and student attendance meetings and graduation meetings to make sure they're back on track, they're ready for graduation, they're attending their classes so they can graduate on time. So my duties here at Dr. Phillips are I'm a resource instructional support. I handle uh, the administrator over SGA, clubs, uh, as well as some discipline with the ninth grade campus. So my biggest thing is with building relationships with the students. So my goal is to bring students in who have either any issues or looking to start clubs or be involved in the school and find the best ways to make them successful. Um, so when a teacher writes a referral or if a student has a problem, they can come and talk to me. And we kind of sort through those problems and either they obviously get discipline, disciplinary action or we solve the problems in other ways. Um, activities that I like to do, um, I'm the boys lacrosse coach. Um, so I'm usually out there coaching boys lacrosse. I also like any other sporting events. I'm the assistant athletic director as well. So do a lot of things here around um, campus. Fun facts, I served in the Marine Corps for multiple years, did multiple tours of duty. Job currently is interacting with the students, having a positive influence on them, hopefully getting them on the right track. As a CRT, I'm a curriculum resource teacher, so I'm here as a resource for both teachers and students. Um, so I help teachers um, with their um, everyday workings. As a math coach, I work with both students and teachers as well, um, specifically in Algebra 1 and Geometry. So a couple of things that I help students with. Um, I have been over the tutoring program this year, so I help get our tutoring program off the ground, um, which can be found within the DP student body course this year. Um, additionally, um, within second quarter, I will be supporting geometry students within their classrooms and also with um, small group uh, pullouts. I am the media specialist here at Dr. Phillips High School, which means that I am in charge of digital devices for each and every one of you, as well as our collection of over 20,000 fiction and nonfiction titles. I help students by uh, assisting them with navigating their div digital devices, also recommending books for them to read, and I also sponsor two clubs on campus, Interact and Black Student Union. I'm the staffing specialist for grades 11 and 12 for students who have individual education plans. And so I help our students with individual education plans with anything they need that can help them um, stay on track, get on track to graduate. And I work with our peer mentors to help mentor some of our students um, with individual education plans who might need support with an academic or with social needs. 
So that means that I work with students who are in crisis. I work with their families um, as an interventionist, getting them resources, connecting them with resources that they may need. Um, I enjoy hiking in the mountains, going to North Carolina, spending time at the beach, so going from one extreme to the other. Um, that if they need help, that there are people on campus who can assist them. We have a variety of people, not just myself, who can help them in, in all sorts of areas. I am one of the two school resource officers assigned to Dr. Phillips High School. My primary area is the North Campus with the 9th and 10th graders, but I come over and help on the South Campus for different issues. I help with if they have, they're have they a victim of a crime or if they have issues about statutes or if there's just different issues with discipline and assisting the deans or if you just have questions about law enforcement in general. I help the kids with a variety of issues, whatever they need help with. Uh, my way of helping students is to stay main focused on not just being an athlete but also a student athlete. Uh, our roles here are very strong with student athletes. Our GPA with all teams combined is 3.26 overall. Uh, between all of our 32 sports, 28 of them are above a 3.0 collectively. Uh, one fact of Mama job, it's just seeing experience of uh, kids moving on to the next level, seeing them grow from their freshman year to their senior years, and seeing them sign for going to colleges and making their lives better. Doing paperwork, paperwork for students and coming up with accommodations for students in the classroom, uh, meeting with parents, uh, meeting with uh, faculty, staff, uh, administration here at, at the school. Uh, the MTSS coach is similar, you know, just but more meeting with the student and, and trying to fulfill needs of the parents uh, as it relates to their child here at uh, Dr. Phillips. And the, the, the coordinated the SSD coordinator position is more about um, uh, directing parents to state websites for accommodation for students who need extra time and tests, etc. At Dr. Phillips, I am part of a team that provides academic, social, and emotional support for your child. Basically, I oversee the ESOL department, which is a department that offers assistance to the students whose first language is not English. I talk to students who are having a difficult time emotionally, and I help connect students and families to counseling resources. Oh, I am a, a staffing specialist at Dr. Phillips for grades 9 and 10 and we also for our pre-k unit as well so I just keep all of the IEPs compliant and work with teachers to ensure they're getting their accommodations. Well we meet with them every at least once a year I meet with them and I work with the ESE teachers to make sure that they're on track for graduation and then we're keeping their grades up. Just that um, I think when they enter ninth grade and they they think they see it as being a very long pathway but it comes at them really fast and to keep their grades up and that this is the step that gets them to where they wanted, what they want to do with their life. So, parents, I hope you've gotten useful information that was provided to you of just some of the support services that we provide here at Dr. Phillips High School. Parents, remember that you can always check out our school website. We update that information fairly regularly, as well as sending out that electronic newsletter on a weekly basis, the Panther Post. So those are two great ways to stay connected to the school. We hope you've enjoyed the video. Thank you.